Step four is securing medical oversight. So who is overseeing your program? As part of public access defibrillation requirements, it's, it's required that you have medical oversight to your program. You have to have an emergency health care provider who reviews all of the information, ensures that, you're, um, that you have trained responders set up, that you have your proper signage, um, and then assists in the completing and the filing of the required paperwork. They're going to check to make sure that you have offered out the training, that you have uh, an AED, and that um, you file the paperwork properly with New York State. New York State, through the public access defibrillation requirements, requires that you fill out two forms, the notice of intent and the collaborative agreement. The notice of intent uh, lets the state know that you have a program in place. And the collaborative agreement goes a little bit more into detail and really ensures that you've put together an emergency response plan, uh, that you've notified your local EMTs that you have a program, your fire department knows that you have a program, um, you know where your closest hospital is, you know the quickest evacuation route to get out of your uh, building and get the person to the care that is needed. Um, and we provide support in assisting you with all of that uh, and reviewing an emer what's referred to as an emergency response plan, which is what you want to have in place. Also part of the oversight of your program, in addition to having a medical director, most AED programs, especially if it's more than one AED, um, it's recommended that you have a designated AED coordinator. And that's just a person, they don't have to have any special qualifications or certifications. It's just somebody within your organization that has an interest in the area or it may be part of their job requirements. Um, but their role is to be the, pers the main go-to person that tracks all of the information, makes sure that the AEDs are up to date, and also that the trained responders are up to date.